Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into my channel. Um, of course, I don't know, oh my god, I wish that I could come up with something other than, as you can tell from the title below, this video is going to be about, but what else can you say? I mean, as you can tell from the title below, this video is going to be my 2015 phase. channel thank you so much for clicking on this video I appreciate you and uh, today's video is going to be my 2016 favorites um, so I did favorites last year which is like the last video that I really uploaded um, I'm not going to do like a general faves and a beauty faves this is just going to be a beauty faves because nobody really cares about all that other stuff um, so, for the most part, like, especially when it comes to, like, skincare and stuff, nothing has changed. Um, I have extremely sensitive skin. I have, um, acne-prone skin. Um, I, <sighs> my skin is just, it's a work in progress. So, I don't like to switch up on uh, my skincare routine, uh, because when I do is when like I'll get like really funky breakouts and stuff so I've like let go of that. Mario Badescu, my Clarisonic, Clinique's um, Acne Solutions Clarifying Lotion, um, Benzoyl Peroxide 5% or 10%, my Retinol, Retina A, Retina A, Retin A, Whatever, I have like this dermatologist prescription for this nighttime um, acne stuff. Um, Origins. Look at me, I'm lying. Origins. Origins like rose clay mask. I use that and their frothy um, checks and balance face wash. I use that. So, yeah, I lied. Those are like two new things and they're also faves. And also the like... Aztec clay mask I do that like twice a month so yeah um without further ado let me just get into this there will be some order though I will say that um it's going to be eyes lips and face and then two cents so let's start with eyes now I am a huge palette girl like I love palettes the convenience of palettes is just wonderful and I am also one thing that I've been uh, hearing a lot on YouTube and maybe I'm just basic <laughs> in this area but like I've been hearing a lot of mixed reviews when it comes to the Anastasia 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 whatever the ABH master palette by Mario this palette it's like a bunch of neutral colors. They are so beautiful. This palette is Bay. I love it for that very reason. Because when I do my makeup in the morning, nine times out of ten, I don't know what I'm wearing. So I prefer for a nice brown girl friendly neutral palette. Because no matter what I throw on, my makeup will match. So... I love this palette. I appreciate the fact that it's so buttery. Um, ABH has some really great quality palettes. Um, I have not purchased single shadows by them, so I don't know how those do. But every ABH palette that I've purchased, I have loved. And for, I think this one was $45. That's not a bad deal at all. What do you get into? For 12, for 12 shadows, uh, $45. That's that's good and they're nice eyeshadow so I liked it 
Uh, also, I've been jocking two palettes by Too Faced this year. And it is the Sweet Peach Palette. I was fortunate enough to get the Sweet Peach, pa Sweet Peach Palette when it first came out. Um, actually, my boyfriend was able to find it. I had no luck. And these colors just, they do something to me and they do something for me. And I can stomach the smell of the peach more than I can stomach the smell of the chocolate palettes. Chocolate bar palettes. But this palette is just... Again, I'm a neutrals girl, so like all of the palettes that I'm going to show you are like neutral natural colors. I just, this palette speaks to me. For the longest time, this was like the only palette that I would travel with. So, yeah. And then the other Too Faced palette that I've been jocking nonstop has been the Chocolate Bonbons palette. Now, I just got into the Chocolate Bond Bonds palette. I'm going to be honest with you. I wasn't interested in it because, and it's, this is about to be the dumbest thing ever. I was not interested in this palette because of these two pink colors. And I'm still not interested in those two pink colors. But this palette is so beautiful. You want to do just a simple everyday out the door look this palette is the one it's the one um and then next of course the Lorac Pro 3 I was surprised um part of me only picked this up because I have the first one and the second one and I don't even really care for the second one the first one I dove into um for like the first month and a half at my new job that was what my face was made of but this one so I picked it up because I have one and two and I love this I love this again you have your neutrals and I just it's the bomb it is the bomb diggity if you have not checked out the rock Lorac, Lorac, you need to. Whatever, whichever one of the palettes, first one, second one, or third one, whatever color scheme floats your boat, do it. Um, and then the last two are by Tarte, and it is the Tartlet in Bloom and the Tartlet Matte palettes. Again, both natural. This is the matte palette. Looks like this. I love it and then this is the Tartlet and Bloom which is mattes and shimmers um, both of these palettes are just to die for so these palettes have actually replaced my sweet peach palette in terms of like traveling I love these they are like a 37 in one palette to me so Yes, and the last thing for eyes, lashes. Now, you know, some people may judge me, and that's cool because I'm used to being judged, but eBay lashes, like, where have they been my whole life? You get, I'm trying to cover up the top because <laughs> that lash is missing. Um, you get five lashes for 99 cents and one thing that I do pay attention to is to making sure that like they don't look plasticky because I don't like that look like a lot of cheaper lashes look like they were made of like thin plastic but these kind they just look like some wispy lashes and you get five pair for a dollar you cannot beat that like yeah I love you know the Ardell ones who doesn't but when I could get probably like hell six packs or two pack of the uh, Ardell Demi Whiskies, why not? The only thing is, is because these are coming from China, the shipping does take forever. It does. Mine took like two and a half weeks 
but I bought like 30 packs at once, so. I promise you. It's all good. I promise you, but this is not a sponsored video. Let me just make that very clear. I just like what I like. Okay, so first for lips, um, Disha Cosmetics, which is an online makeup company, fire ass lippies. If you're into like those uh, liquid lipsticks, you would love this company. Extremely reasonably priced and they just launched um, a new line for fall and winter and I picked up about 12 different shades. I'm not going to show you all 12. Um, I'm just going to show you my top three right now that I've been rocking. And the first one is Rum Cake, which is this chocolate brown. And it's the color that I have on my lips right now. Um, I love this color. I'm here for some reason. I'm very late getting onto this 1990s train. But chocolate lips, bomb. The next color is called Blueberry. And it's a, a blue color. It's a, a deep blue, yeah. That's pretty accurate, the way that it's picking up on camera. I love this. Cobalt blue is my favorite color. So when I purchased this, I literally only purchased this because cobalt blue is my favorite color. And I just feel like I have to pay respects to anything that's like blue in color on account of cobalt. And when I put this on, I was just like, bitch with a neutral eye and this lip with some jeans and a white tee and your Uggs and a pea coat, you're in the money. So it's fire. And all of these are liquid to matte finish. Um, and then the last one is raspberry truffle, which looks like this. Um, I love this color with a dark brown lip liner on me, this is the perfect nude. I love it. Oh my God, how many times can you say I love it? We know you love it, girl. It's your damn favorites. And then the next two, this, they are my favorite finish. Like the Disha Cosmetics ones, I love, don't get me wrong, but you will need a primer with those. Um, like, I don't know if it's because my lips are, like, really big. And so, like, they, they be feeling dry. Like, when you first apply it and it starts to dry, like, you feel it drying. But once it dries, you don't feel it. Let me, let me make that very clear. When it's in the process of drying, you know that it's in the process of drying. Or at least I know it's in the process of drying. But once it's dry, you're good. And that shit ain't going nowhere. And I mean, it's not going nowhere. Like, you can literally take all of your makeup remover and rub it on your lips, and it will still be there. So, let me just get that out of the way. With that, Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This stuff, you can't tell me nothing about. This, unlike the Disha one, when this one is drying, I don't feel it. I'm just into liquid to matte lipsticks. Let's just, boom, I said it. I did not know that I would be that girl. And my two favorite colors, Evil Twin and Naughty by Nature. Naughty by Nature and Disha Cosmetics Rum Cake are practically twins. Rum Cake is a little deeper in its brown, which is here at the bottom. And um, Naughty by Nature is more of like a reddish brown. But they are both freaking awesome. And then for the lips, Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. Everlasting is an understatement to how put this stuff stays. It was nice to be able to try these and I love them. And once I'm done with them, I will be purchasing full size ones of colors that I like. Um, and then lastly... <clears throat> Sorry, it fell on the ground. Lastly, handy dandy lip balm. You always need to have a lip balm. And my lip balm of choice 
which has been my lip balm of choice for a very long time, is EOS. I have not come across a flavor that I don't care for yet. This one is like a blueberry smell, but I just, I love EOS. It's cute and it's the bomb. So, yes, that's it for lips now for face. I'll just do it in order of how I'll apply it. My favorite primer is the Cover FX Acne Primer. Um, and I like this because it does really create a safe barrier on my face for me to apply foundation and this does not break me out when i use the smashbox face primer for acne with acne treatment it breaks me out um but this one is a silicone base and it just smooths on and i see my face mattifying I see my pores filling and I let it sit in for a while and then I'll apply my foundation um so this stuff is is bae and then favorite foundation honestly I only have two it's the Clinique acne fighting foundation and this NARS luminous what is it called the name is not on here all day luminous weightless foundation and then back to cover fx i set it with my cover fx powder and i am in p100 this stuff i mean it's just regular compact powder but this mess it's the bomb I, even without putting this on this gets the job done so i love this and then I finish it off with my Mario Badescu Rose Water. I love it. So I use it. And it smells good. And it doesn't irritate my skin. The MAC Prep and Prime, it's okay. Uh, I definitely don't consider it to be a setting spray. But that's just me. I do use it to like put on my brush to apply eyeshadow to make it uh, more bold. Um, but outside of that, like, that's it. The e.l.f. Mist and Set, when I spray that on my face, my face breaks out. Um, NYX Mattifying Spray breaks me out. Urban Decay's All Nighter and D Slick Sprays are okay, but I don't really feel like they do anything. Like, I just feel like I'm just spraying my face just to spray my face. Like, the product doesn't really do anything. So, yeah, that's that. Last things, which are not eyes, lips, or face. They are just, uh, like, body stuff. Just, like, the latter part of this year, I started getting into, like, different scents. Lately, I've been trying to, you know, just step my adult game up. So, one of the things that I've been loving are the um, Body Butters by The Body Shop. And my favorite scents are Honey Mania and like this floral one. This is a small one. It goes in my purse. But it's it's really nice. It's nice and thick and it just helps combat that ash. And it doesn't irritate my skin. Um, and they're nice and softly scented. That's another thing. Like doing scented soap and then putting on a scented lotion and then putting on perfume that's just that's too much even if they're all the same scent it's just it's too much and it would irritate the hell out of me so i love this because it's nice and soft and then with the sephora vib sale i did pick up i'm a lover of kate spade my feelings would be so hurt if any type of scandal or drama like surfaced or regarding or surrounding or involving Kate Spade like I would have to not have any purses and now not have any perfume the Kate Spade and Marc Jacobs with perfume but whatever so um Sephora had this deal for 98 bucks you got um their walk on air walk on air by Kate Spade and it's a nice soft scent um 
The set included, it just it smells like clean and floral. Like you just stepped out of a rose bath, you know? Um, <laughs> so yeah, it included the 3.4 ounce of it which it's a very classy bottle with a beautiful little bow on it a real bow and this little roller ball and a lotion so the roller ball I keep in my purse because you never know when you're gonna need to go for happy hour after work with the girls and smell good uh so yeah I love this stuff um and that is it Comment down below. Let me know if any of these products work for you. They didn't work for you. If you were thinking about getting them, but you were on the fence. Um, and then any of your 2016 favorites. Especially if, like, you're like me and you have oily skin. Like, let me know what's working for you in the world. And, you know, what lippies y'all are loving. What eyeshadow. You know, that... I may have the palette or I may have the eyeshadow and I just have not been using it. School your girl one time. So yeah, that is it for my 2016 favorites.